what is happening today in uh, non-small cell lung cancer that uh, lung cancer by itself is a heterogeneous disease and various subgroups of lung cancer are treated differently. So what has been done in the past is that we have been treating uh, non-small cell lung cancer with chemotherapy and that has been based on histology. So at least we wanted the pathologist to give us uh, the distinction between various forms of non-small cell lung cancer such as adenocarcinoma, large cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma. And there are certain agents which are approved only in non-squamous non-small cell lung cancer and there are certain which are more effective in squamous cell lung cancer. For example, pemetrixin is only approved in combination with cisplatin for first-line treatment of non-squamous non-small cell lung cancer based on efficacy. While bevacizumab is approved in non-squamous non-small cell lung cancer based on that it had significant toxicity in patients with squamous cell lung cancer. And more recently, Abraxane or Nabpaclitaxel is approved in squamous cell lung cancer because of its high degree of activity. Or it is utilized more often in squamous cell lung cancer. Gemcitabine, as opposed to said, has more efficacy in squamous cell as opposed to non-squamous non-small cell lung cancer. But we have moved beyond that with uh, Sequencing of single genes, we now have EGFR mutations in approximately 10 to 15 percent of patients with non-small cell lung cancer. And patients whose tumors have presence of EGFR mutation, uh, especially the sensitizing mutations, are responsive to agents such as jefferson or Lagnib, or Afatinib, which target the EGFR tyrosine kinase. 